Good evening, members of the committee. My name is Sophia Kerman. I'm a member of Against Racism in Medicine, a coalition of medical students at Albert Medical School of Brown University that advocates for anti-racist practices in medicine and medical education. I have had the privilege to be a part of the Providence community for the past five years and currently live on Hope Street in the Fox Point neighborhood. I'm here today to stand in full support of fellow community members calling to defund the Providence Police Department and to allocate these funds to much needed community resources such as housing, healthcare, education, and mental health treatment. These types of resources, not the police, will make our communities more equitable, healthy, and safe. I'm here to share a public health perspective on police violence as a state and national crisis. A group of Brown University medical students who are members of Against Racism in Medicine have written a comprehensive report titled Police Violence as a Public Health Crisis, Supporting Calls to Defund the Rhode Island Police. We have emailed the report to each individual city council member, as well as to Mayor Lorza, and urge each member to read through this evidence-based, data-driven report that illuminates the extensiveness of police violence in our communities and the harmful impact it has on the physical and mental health of individuals. Many of us are here in person today to share some of this report with you. As a fundamental public health issue, police violence must be met with public health solutions that focus on prevention and target root causes. There is significant evidence showing that many of the reforms suggested in the last city council hearing, such as the use of body cams, community policing, diversifying the police force, and implicit bias training, do not have significant or lasting impacts on decreasing police violence. We know that police violence has disproportionate impact on black individuals and people of color. Therefore, it is imperative that their voices are represented in these discussions and in decision-making processes. We strongly request that time be taken to fully hear the concerns of affected communities and we ask that all actions taken by the Providence City Council not only involve, but be led by directly impacted individuals and organizations. Thank you very much.